Hello to everyone that's watching us online. My name is Alicia and I play the flute and symphonic band and sing soprano in chamber choir. All the bands and choirs at Diefenbaker are still going strong, despite the complications from the pandemic. Sure, we might be more spaced out from each other, and the limitations of our playtime can get frustrating. But we greatly appreciate being able to play together again, and being able to perform for all of you as well. Mr. Thackeray, Mr. Schwartz, and Ms. Kwan have put a lot of effort into following the strict safety protocols, while still teaching us with the same dedication and spirit we've always admired. My peers and I, who you're about to see performing in the rest of the program, have persevered through the emotional and mental struggles of the pandemic, and have found the motivation, or at least enough, to practice, show for rehearsal, and to work together so that we could put together some beautiful performances for you as well. So please, get together with your family while you watch this concert, or have a virtual viewing party with your friends, which I know you can do through Discord, and enjoy our online spring concert. Good evening. Thank you for joining our John G. Diefenbaker music family for their virtual spring concert of 2021. My name is Miss Kat Turner and I am one of the assistant principals here at John G. Diefenbaker High School. There have been many challenges in education over this past year and it has been extremely difficult for all of our programs here at Diefenbaker. Fortunately, our students' perseverance through these challenges have allowed for some amazing new learning opportunities to take place, such as this Spring into the Arts celebration. Diefenbaker's music program is always a work in progress, and our students are excited to share some of the great work they have been working on over the past few months for this Spring into our Arts celebration. With the choirs under the direction of Mr. Laurie Schwartz and the bands under the direction of Ms. Michaela Kwan and Mr. Ken Thackeray, we hope you enjoy these virtual musical offerings that the John G. Diefenbaker music students have put together for you. Thank you for your continued support of our fine arts programs at John G. Diefenbaker High School. And please be sure to check out the rest of the Spring into the Arts programs that have links available soon on our website. Now sit back and enjoy our talented students as they perform for you. Hello and thank you for joining us for the John G. Diefenbaker Music Program's 2021 Virtual Spring Concert. My name is Elaine Cohen and I am the President of the Music Parent Association our Music Parent Association is an important part of the success of the music program here at Diefenbaker High School. Through our fundraising efforts, we have been able to provide additional instruments for the band, clinicians for both the choir and band programs, and provide many other supports, such as coordinating volunteers for concerts and camps. We also provide an opportunity to help students offset the costs of the camps and trips. These camps provide enhanced learning opportunities for our musicians. Please watch in early April for our next fundraiser, which will be uh, the DeVry Spring Plant Sales. As a parent, I am constantly amazed by and proud of the hard work and dedication that our music students show. Thank you to Mr. Thackeray and Mr. Schwartz for fostering this love of music and providing our students with a warm, welcoming, and supportive place to grow and learn. We hope you enjoy the concert and hope to be able to see you in person soon. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Julia and I'm Katrina and we would like to welcome you to John G. Diefenbaker Music Program's first ever virtual spring concert. At this point in time, we would like to take the opportunity to acknowledge the land where we gather. We would like to acknowledge the traditional territories and oral practices of the Blackfoot nations, which includes the Siksika, the Pekani, and the Kaina. We also acknowledge the Su Tana and Stony Nakoda First Nations, the Métis Nation, Region 3, and all people who make their homes in Treaty 7 region of Southern Alberta. 
Thank you. Now, this is usually the point in time where we ask you to turn off your cell phones and that you should applaud at appropriate moments during the concert. But considering this is all virtual and you're basically left to your own devices, pun intended, we are going to trust that you're going to practice proper concert etiquette and hold back from talking during any performances or using flash photography. Just take a screenshot instead. Hold up, wait a minute, I'm looking at you, Mr. <coughs> take time for you to stop playing solitaire and put your phone away. For everyone else, your applause is both encouraged and appreciated. Thank you all for taking the time to join us, and we hope you enjoyed the John G. Diefenbaker Music Program's virtual spring concert. Hello, my name is Kavir Hader, and I'm a sophomore here at Diefenbaker High School. As humans, it is our tendency to look to the past and the future. Uh, you see, a lot of our advancements, a lot of our progress, comes from looking to the future and using the past as a way to inform that. But another thing that we often forget is the present. Now we usually think of the present as just an agent to achieve whatever we want in the future and something that is being informed by the past, something that is always being shaped by those extremes. But what we often forget is that just admiring the present equally has its own value, equally has its own purpose. And that is something we usually forget. And during this current COVID-19 pandemic, I want you to take a moment with me, not to look to the past or to the future, but look to the present, be in the present. And with this performance, I hope that you, like me, shall be present. Thank you.
Our second and final piece comes from the days of old. This piece dates back to the 1700s and is based on the fight between Bonnie Prince Charlie's army and Sir John Cope's army. The piece is split into three incredible movements, battle, lament, and dancing. Battle depicts the intense conflict between the armies, bringing the tension and fury of both sides as they aim for victory. Lament begins when the dust settles. Prince Charlie's army had won, but many had fallen during the fight. Dancing celebrates the victory over the English. The people were happy, the war was over, and those who survived got to see their families again. And now, ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you, performed by the John G. Diefenbaker Concert Band, The King Across the Water.
Hello, my name is Kevin Gilbo. Today, the choir will be performing the spring, uh, song from the guys and the dolls, Sit Down, You Rock in the Boat, by Frank Loiser. The song talks about a man who goes out gambling, but in the end, ends up going to heaven. The man plays some risky games, resulting in rocking the boat, though in the end, ends up in heaven. Frank Loiser assisted in creating the Broadway musical Guys and Dolls. He also received a Tony Award in music. He also made hits in the Broadway musicals like I Know or Spring Will Be Late. Alex, and I'm a grade 10 member of the Diefenbaker Choir. The next song you'll be hearing is a song called Soon I Will Be Done with the Troubles of the World. It's a traditional uh, spiritual song from the American South, uh, which was originally sung by slaves on plantations. But, and while the, our times aren't quite as dire as theirs, I think the core message of the song still holds true to this day. Because while today's trials may be absolutely awful and the worst thing you can experience, there is something better waiting for us if we can make it through especially true with this pandemic, I believe. So listen out for the different layering and the different tones used to kind of express this very spiritual moment and enjoy uh, Soon I Will Be Done with the Troubles of the World. Troubles of the world, the troubles of the world. Soon I will be done with the 
Hello, my name is Ronan Bires. I play trumpet for the Jazz 2 Band. The piece we'll be performing today is called Great Shark Hunt. This piece was composed by Jim McGrath in 1983. The solos that will be played by Alex Stevenson on trombone and Kevin Gilbo on trumpet. This piece is a classic in jazz bands. It features many unison sections throughout the composition. The trombones of rhythm section have a well put together backtrack and a walking bass line. We hope you enjoy this excellent song. <laughs> and I play guitar in the Jazz 2 band. And I'm introducing the piece Digging Into Digs. It was arranged by Paul Martha. It was featured in the movie The Incredibles 2 and was played by My Michael Giacchino. The piece has many intricate parts into it along with well-played solos from Michelle playing the trumpet and Cooper playing the trombone. Throughout the piece there is a driving bass line and a melody that, melody, is passed between sections. 
There are smooth sections intertwined with the strong sections, and the song finishes off by highlighting many of the melodies from throughout the song. We hope you, you like our rendition of Digging the New Digs. Hi, I'm Sundrik Livamal, and I'm a part of the Jazz Choir. Today I'll be introducing um, the song called Route 66. Route 66 was originally written by Bobby Tripp, and this particular ensemble was arranged by Robert Emerson. In 1946, Bobby Tripp was inspired to write this song when he himself drove through Route 66 to Los Angeles. He wrote this song to recount his traveling experience and to encourage the audience to travel through this route as well. This ensemble represents the spirit of adventure and excitement, so be sure to listen closely for the scatting section. We hope you enjoy our performance.
For our second song in the jazz choir, we will be performing the song Virtual Insanity, lyrics and music by Jason Kay and Toby Smith, and this version was arranged by Mark Brimer. The song was released as a single by the British funk band Jamaraquai on August 19th, 1996. In this song, one of the meanings a singer hints at is lamenting the proliferation of technology at the expense of human connection and preservation of our planet, as seen in the lyrics, which elaborate on our love for technology and twisted machinery. The song brings together the whole of the jazz choir and was very fun to learn. I saw the title and immediately thought, Virtual Insanity, sounds just like our online classes. We sincerely hope you enjoy this fun, upbeat song. I think it's time to find a new religion. 
everyone. My name is Alicia and this is the Chamber Choir. As you can see, we are quite spaced out from each other, which is very ironic considering our first song is called The Spaces In Between Us. Good pun, right? Well, don't worry. We didn't just pick this song because there's literally a lot of space between us. The song was written by Jan Garrett, J.D. Martin, and Lisa Ashman. And when they created this piece, they weren't talking about the physical or social distancing that we're experiencing today. Instead, they wanted to convey how we could change focus and find a new awareness that is alive with new possibilities. Due to the pandemic, we've all had lots of time to ourselves. And in turn, we've been given the opportunity to become intimately aware and comfortable with our thoughts. This song encourages us to embrace those feelings as well as to share it and connect with others. The breath I take, oh, make sure to look out for when we sing the words, the breath I take before I sing, as I encourage you to take a breath with us before we continue singing. Please enjoy. The song Happy Together was made by Gary Bonner and Alan Gordon. The song was made by a man who had a one-sided love and told all the possibilities that could be to the woman he loves. 
While you're listening, make sure to listen to the chorus and the bridge, the words, I can see me loving nobody but you for all my life, and the only one for me is you and you for me, are just one way he was representing this. The harmonies are really brought out as, as well and show how wonderful their love could be. Hey, if a guy wrote me a song about how great we'd be together, I'd go for him. Just saying. Enjoy our rendition of Happy Together. <laughs> 